Getting started in Marauders can be really tough, especially when you are playing solo and you do not know what the hell you are doing. Because you see in Marauders, people that know how to play the game, they have best in slot gear right of the get-go. And if you're a new player, you will have no clue what the hell to do and how to even approach the raid. If you do not know what Marauders is, I would strongly recommend you to watch this video. And if you already had, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, this is Kram, my name is Eroctic, and today I'm gonna show you how to get started in Marauders. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. When you're getting started, your biggest problem will be medications, meds, and backpack slots. That's like your number one priority. To get any kind of a backpack, you will need to unlock this right here. Under the crafting, your number one priority is to get at least sec bag. We're gonna craft that. How to craft that? What if you do not have junk? Don't worry, because you have vendors. Some of the vendors will sell you this, but the vendors are resetting. You see how it says here on the top, the parts in three minutes, which means after three minutes, that vendor will not be here anymore. And let's say that he does not have a sack bag, okay? What you can do is you can purchase different armor or helmets or whatever from the vendors. And then when you open crafting section, you can scrap it. When you're hovering over, it is gonna tell you 75% chance it will give you synthetic scrap and 25% chance it will give you junk scrap. So when we scrap this, we got synthetic. When you scrap this, we got junk. So with getting enough of the junk, you can make yourself a sack bag. I'm gonna click craft and now we are crafting it. Your number one priority is having as much inventory slots as possible so you can carry more and more out of the raid. Your second issue are meds. Same like a backpack, you have to unlock bandages and small first aid as soon as possible. And once when you unlock them, you can craft yourself a bandages. Because every single raid, you will need a lot of meds to heal. Bandages and first aid kits are not the only thing that heals you. You also have consumables, like water, for example. Water will also heal you. Although, when you are fully hydrated and fully fed, you will not be able to consume the water or food, so you will not be able to get the heals. In two seconds, it will reset, just to show you. Okay, here we go, 15 uh, minutes is a reset. You're pretty much buying the cheapest armor from the vendors and then you're just scrapping them if you need synthetics and if you need junk or whatever. We're gonna grab those two bandages and that's it, okay? This is our loadout and we're just gonna click play. The reason why I did that is because inside of your ship, you're gonna have a basic pistol, you're gonna have enough of the ammo, and you're gonna have a chest rig that is gonna wait for you. This is pretty much zero to hero run. While waiting in matchmaking, there is also one more thing that is really important for you to know, is under the contracts, you have zero to hero runs. You will be able to complete different tasks to earn more and more loot. So check what you need here. Under trade market, you also have daily quests. Every single 24 hours, there are gonna be new daily quests and this is huge. Those daily quests are gonna give you such amazing things for pretty much no hassle at all. I should strongly recommend you to check your market traders also for the daily quests. And also, do you see on the bottom left, Central Empire level two, United Allies level zero. Those levels are unlocking you better things. Do you see how things are grayed out here on the vendors? With leveling up faction standing, you will be able to unlock better and better things. So every single uh, vendor reset, you will be able to buy better things. Okay, we spawned in the ship. Every single time you see where the cockpit is, this is when you are, where you are uh, controlling your ship. And before we even see what is on the map, right here behind, you're gonna see pouch rig, you're gonna get 9 mil ammo, and you're gonna get logger P08. You see? Right now with the pouch rig, we got four extra slots. We got pistol, we got 38 rounds. Every single time when you join inside of the match, there will be different levels, right? Different bases, different stations to go raid. Sometimes you're gonna have one, sometimes you're gonna have two. It all depends. There is one more base over there. For this first presentation, I'm just gonna enter inside so I can show you how to farm, okay? You're entering into those yellow thingies. Once when you enter in, you go all the way down on the bottom. You have airlock here, you see? Airlock directly underneath your cockpit. You click this and we go in. Uh, by the way, when you die, 
Other players will see your captain key card, and if you have a good ship, you can purchase better ships, right? They can also steal your ship or extract with your exit. Your only goal when you get started is to get some loot and extract. That's it. You're not exploring the map, you're not doing anything. You are literally getting in, getting out, kind of a maneuverability, dude. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. We immediately have an upgrade now. Right hand picking is way better than left hand picking. Just want to show that one out there. That's the gun that we need for the for best in slot gear. With the flak vest, we got even more additional slots now. Thompson, really good gun to get started. I can go further. There are like good loot spots here. But as I said, just for the presentation purposes, right? You just want to get in, get out kind of on your ability. This is more than enough. Being inside of the map and min-maxing best in slot items so everything has a value, it's big no-no in this game. Because wherever you spawned, that's your extraction also, which is overpowered. It is pointless not to do this kind of a method when you're getting started, right? And now we extract. This is our extraction right here. This type of a route, get in, get out fast until you are comfortable with having enough of the things, enough of the meds, enough of the bullets, enough of the armor to get further. And speaking about inventory slots, I'm storing items inside of the backpacks. When you're getting started, backpacks are the best thing to craft or collect to store more and more items. You can also craft small containers. This is how it looks like, small container. And you need toolkits for that. So every single time when you see a toolkit, it is pretty much you found the small container. They're pretty rare, so you should always grab them. Right now, I'm gonna show you salvaging. Those are the things that can spawn supply drops. And you're gonna see a red pulsing thingy in the middle. This one did not spawn it. And by the way, one more thing. Opening the tab, you can see what map is in front of you. As you can see, it's Colony Cruiser. It is not that difficult to figure out on what maps you did spawn, right? Uh, these things also can spawn a salvaging thingy. And it is pulsing. You see how it's pulsing? You see this? There you go. This is the thing that you can salvage. You just come really close to it. You click R for salvage and that's it. There is a lot of ships that are fighting here that are shooting the turrets down and things like that. We don't care about that. Once when you collected it and I'm pretty, I'm pretty much on a safe spot right now. You go all the way back here and here is gonna be your crate that you can salvage. You click F. And those are the items that we extracted out. Right now we got a toolkit, which means we can make a crate in our global inventory. You click Purge Salvage to reset uh, the, the ability for us to salvage. Uh, by the way, if somebody else spots your ship, they can breach our ship and they're gonna enter inside of our ship and try to kill us. So be careful with where you're parking your vehicle. We can go immediately out, but I feel greedy. Another salvaging thingy. By the way, I had to put the lever down to refresh the ability to loot more things. Just wanna point that one out there. We looted it. We go hide a little bit further. Let's see what else did we got. Before this patch, it was really tough uh, to get good loot. But right now with the salvaging, there is always the alternative, right? Oh, this is huge. Blowtorch, that is amazing. You need blowtorches for opening vo vaults. Every single endgame player has one. I'm pretty, pretty happy <laughs> with uh, this salvaging run. So I'm just gonna go back. Oh, and by the way, one more important note is that this rust bucket, you don't care about it. Even if you die, you're gonna get the new rust bucket. Pretty much you're getting infinite amounts of the rust buckets. Uh, there is the alternative way of escaping. There is an escape pod. Every single ship has escape pods and it is really important for you to know that because those escape pods are really fragile. They're like one tap, you will die. Although it is fast as, which means when you're happy with your like, you know, raid and you know, and you're 100% sure that it is safe, you can use your uh, escape pod if you're using rust bucket, of course. It is extremely important for you to understand that in the Marauders, the only important thing is 
staying alive. Because once when you enter in the losing streak, you're gonna end up with having absolutely nothing in your global inventory. Global inventory is not that big. It's pretty, pretty small, which means that you're gonna have like one more reserved loadout and that's it. Which means if you die two times in a row, you're gonna end up with having nothing. And if you do not have mats, and if you do not have enough of the levels on the vendors, you'll be all the way back on the drawing board. So stay alive. In between April 27th and May 2nd, I will be having exclusive drops on Twitch.tv slash Eurotic. And with just watching me, you will be able to collect not just supply drops to fill up your stash, but also you will be able to get once in a lifetime unique cosmetics that you can only unlock with watching my channel. I hope that you guys found this video very helpful. See you in Marauders. See you on Twitch.tv slash Eurotic. Make sure to subscribe for even more content. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eurotic out.